perfect. Thank you, Alex. Thank you very much. I'm seeing a lot of friends, uh, a lot of faces over there. Thank you guys for attending. Uh, Daniel Riddell, for example, Linus, uh, even Just. Uh, super happy to see you, Just. Very happy to have uh, you as a Toyota here. Uh, super happy to have you also. Uh, Jesus, Alex, and of course, Amir and, and Kevin, uh, two of the startups that we got in the first edition of the Toyota Setup Accelerator. Um, so maybe if you don't mind, we are going to wait for another minute uh, until it is five minutes past six, uh, just in case other people are, are considering to attend. But as commented by Alex, um, it's going to be uh, an informal and, and quick uh, info session. So basically, we are going to go through the details of the uh, Toyota Startup Accelerator second edition, second program. I'm going to start explaining a little bit um, the benefits for startups. Then we will have the testimonials of a couple of startups, Kevin from Willis and, and Amir from Seamless Vision. And then we will have Q&A uh, for all of you. So if you have any questions, uh, please. Danny, don't just excuse me, excuse me to interrupt you. Um, I'm not sure if it's only me, but I, I see kind of, oh, that's it. I was seeing a gray thingy. That's it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Okay. And also, we have Toyota representatives. So, in any case, uh, is, if there is any specific question for for Toyota, we can we can see to handle this and or to manage somehow. Perfect. So here we are. Uh, it's already five minutes. Indeed, six minutes past from from six. So let me start. Let's go for it. Okay. So. First thing is that we are starting the second acceleration program of the uh, Toyota Startup Accelerator program. And as you can see, we are delivering several benefits for startups. We are offering an acceleration program, also a training bootcamp. We are offering funding that is equity free. So we are not taking any equity of, of the companies. We are also offering perks, so some free services. Uh, coming from Amazon Web Services, Google, etc. We are offering mentoring. We are offering a demo day in front of investors, not only Toyota, but our pool of investors at is the accelerator. We are going to have Toyota guides, and also uh, we are looking to to get collaboration with Toyota POCs and and pilots, right? So this is basically all the benefits that we are offering, and we are going to start explaining some of them during the presentation. So thank you all for for attending. It's great to have you all here. It's not so easy to be here on a, on a Tuesday at this time, six uh, in the evening. Uh, probably you have all the other things to do, but the, hopefully this is because you are really interested in, in this program and you know either us, uh, ISD or Toyota, or you were curious about the open call and hopefully we can support you in this process that is applying and, and also to, to finally convince you to, to apply because we really believe that this program could, could support you and, and make the, the difference, make the, the, the change that you are looking for. Just commented the, the I'm gonna do the first part of the of the presentation that is basically an intro about the program and the benefits for startups. Then we are gonna have a couple of, of uh, startups explaining in their own words, the good, the bad, and, and how the program support them, uh, the first edition. And then we will have a Q and A. Okay, so any questions, please, for me, for for the startups, don't hesitate to to ask. Great. So again, thank you, Amir. Uh, a pleasure to have you uh, here. Even more now that we know that it's kind of the New Year uh, over there in in Israel. Thank you for making it happen on a bank holiday. Of course. Happy to be here. Thanks, Good thanks. Yeah. And Kevin, uh, a pleasure also to have you here from, from France. Uh, a pleasure to, to, to have you and, and to explain a little bit uh, what, you are gonna, what you are doing and, and also uh, some, some ideas, some insights about the program and how it supported you. You will have uh, time to, to explain it later. Thank you. My pleasure. I'm looking forward to see what uh, you've prepared for the Second session. Perfect, perfect. You will see some changes, I'm sure. Okay. I would like to start with a short video that is a summary of the first edition. Um, 
I, I, we have tested and hopefully you can you can hear the sound, but in any case, Alex or the team, if you cannot hear it, please let me know. Today is the final pitch. Eight brilliant startups who share the same vision as us, which is related to delivering mobility for all. Mobility solutions, we want to provide them to all, which is an inclusive approach and being capable of providing the possibility to go from one place to another to any person. So this is why we made an open call to inclusive mobility startups. Welcome to Toyota Accelerator Bootcamp under the new normality. He's learning so much from these experiences because Toyota, massive company, how does it get on with small startup how does it have a small startup mentality and so we're right in it to learn from you just as much as you learn from us you can change the world and i know you believe that or else you wouldn't be here today Able human motion which is a barcelona-based startup that develops the first lightweight easy to use and affordable exoskeleton for people with paraplegia Prosper has a solution to fit 20 million amputees in the world. We developed a way to make prosthetic sockets. That's absolutely the bottleneck in prosthetics today. And when you've solved this problem, you can fit 20 million amputees. We develop a guidance robot to lead the visually impaired and blind people in urban areas uh, autonomously. Um, for us, there's a really fundamental barrier for lots of disabled people participating in their communities with peace of mind. Um, and so we're trying to build a platform that allows anybody to find that information really quickly, easily, and with the right amount of detail to make the decision every time. We live, which is the first website dedicated to peer-to-peer -peer wheelchair accessible car rentals. What great people, what great ideas, just keep firing, that's all. And don't take no for an answer. Great. So this was the summary of, of the first edition. Uh, for me, it's a uh, lot of great moments that we had together. And I was hearing Amir and, and Charlotte uh, pitching and, and, and probably Amir and, and Kevin from Willis has a different pitch now. We will see later when they, when they pitch a bit uh, and explain who they are. But a very, very uh, impactful moment for me on, on the first edition. So going into details, what we are offering when we refer to acceleration uh, for us is to put in contact with, with mentors. Uh, basically, you are going to see this, but we are going to offer you different types of mentorships. And we are going to have speakers coming from Toyota and key employees. It's a six months decentralized premium acceleration program. We, are, we said here decentralized because uh, we are not going to request the startups to move from where they are in the world. In this case, in Europe, we are looking for startups in Europe. So you can you can uh, basically go through all the acceleration program, no matter where you are. Okay, you don't have to travel. In this case, uh, we thought about this because of the pandemic, pandemic situation that we are living in, and and we can keep with this promise. Uh, do a 100% online acceleration program. We are going to have a bootcamp training. Uh, this is going to be at least five days, very immersive and intensive. And you can ask uh, your, your, your peers, uh, me and, and Kevin, how was the, the, the bootcamp? But basically what we are doing that there on those bootcamps is uh, experts in different areas. Uh, you will see a sneak peek of it that are going to guide you through the basics in different areas like marketing, talent, how to hire, product, etc. So they are experts that are uh, very well known on those specific fields who are gonna support you to pivot a little bit before the mentoring. 
So basically we are using this bootcamp to balance the level of knowledge of all the startups that are entering in, into, the, into the batch, into the program. We are offering also 20,000 euros uh, equity free. So we are not taking any equity of the startups. Uh, this is gonna deliver in two uh, state installments as you will see later on. And basically this is to support you into your growth. So you can use this funding as you wish. Okay, no, no one in Toyota or ISD is gonna tell you who you, uh, what, what you need to spend this money on, okay? We have a lot of perks and we are closing more and more perks. So basically this is a free services or really big discount services that we are offering to all of our startups community. So for example, imagine that we have 100K um, on Amazon Web Services, on, on, on cloud services, uh, the same with uh, Google or IBM. We also have Braintree, so no, no, no transactional fees for you, et cetera. We have many of these kind of perks. Then we have business and specialized mentors. This is coming from ISD Network and they are based uh, in different parts of the world, but basically what they are looking to do is to support your growth. Uh, no matter if this is related with Toyota or not. So um, you are gonna get this value uh, to support you into your growth. Um, and you are the one as a startup who is deciding what is your plan to grow, right? What is your roadmap to, to grow? Uh, we have a demo day in front of top investors, uh, in front of Toyota, uh, key employees, uh, is the executives and even we are considering even the media to support you into your uh, press appearances. Uh, so out of this uh, final event, what we are expecting is you to, to, to be more connected with investment network. Uh, so you can have one-to-one -one meetings after the, the event and you can be best known uh, in, in this uh, ecosystem that is the investors in, in Europe support you with your growth again. Then we have Toyota Guides, which are very important in this program because Toyota Guides are supporting you to better understand who is who in Toyota, different departments, division, areas, and, and companies. And they are basically your key contact point uh, to, to work in something that is uh, very important in this program, in this edition, that is your POC or pilot roadmap, okay? So we are aiming that all the startups that are selected are going to work in a, in a pilot roadmap to collaborate with Toyota at the end of the six months acceleration program. And then collaboration. So basically the acceleration program, is, it's, a, it's a funnel to better detect the startups out there, the innovators that are very well prepared to collaborate with a big entity that, that is Toyota and to grow together with them, right? To support the innovation of Toyota. So going a little bit into the overview of the program, uh, we are over here right now in the open goal, still one week to finish the, the deadline until the 14th of September, you can still apply. Then we will do the selection process that is a, a three stages selection process with different um, stages. One is more automatically through a platform. The second one is going through online evaluators and the final one is going through a jury day. So a, a jury composed of Toyota representative and ISD representatives and some experts are gonna select the, the, the best 10 that are gonna make it into the program. And then we will start the acceleration program itself and we will do a, a quick screening of all the startups. So we will check uh, some of the most important numbers and figures of the startup. And also we will start looking for the best mentor out there for the startup and we will try to hire that mentor for them. So we will interview you to see what are your needs, uh, what is the most urgent point that you are looking uh, right now to solve, et cetera, to, to hire or, or to find the best mentor in our network or outside our network. And then a couple of acceleration stages of three months, the first one, stage one, and the stage two. And out of uh, this uh, overview of the program, we will have online events. Like the jury day, for example, that will be uh, where approximately around 30 startups will, will present. So we will select the best 10 out of this. And then we will do the uh, training bootcamp. We will have a, in the middle of the acceleration program an interview review uh, day where we will review the POC and pilot roadmap that I have commented before and the final demo day in front of investors and media. And the money 
is a couple of installments, basically uh, 5,000 K, 5,000, sorry, at the very beginning of the program, and then 15,000 in the middle of the program. Okay, this is what we have uh, already agreed. As you know, we have different fields, and this is something new also. The first edition was uh, all related with mobility for all, but right now we have another three fields or verticals that are carbon neutral, life cycle footprint ecosystem, and a circular economy of plastics. And if you go through our website, you have a detailed explanation of, of this. And if you have any questions regarding fields, of course, you can ask us. But we are going beyond mobility for all. And this is one of the, of the news uh, in this program, the four fields. If you have gone through the uh, website, you, you know that there is an eligibility criteria. Okay, so we are looking to have uh, companies that are uh, startup. Basically, uh, what we are putting here is that they should be small and medium enterprises. Um, most of the cases are legally established already, but we also are supporting innovators, PhD students, researchers, and people from the academia and the universities. Uh, that are um, researching into different fields so they can apply, but they, they have to commit into becoming a legally established company uh, at the start of the federation program. We are looking for companies that at least have a CEO or business manager and a CTO. Okay, important that at least you have those two roles. At least one should be a full-time founder dedicated to the project. And they should have a minimum viable product, of course. Okay, uh, we are looking for companies in the 27 European member states. And if you have any doubt, the United Kingdom is already uh, also considered. Regarding the technology readiness level, we are looking for a six or more. Uh, if you have questions regarding what is, what is this, you can check the website and there is a link explaining this in detail. And of course, the startup has to have a strong company of innovation, uh, but innovation understood in the really broadest sense of so product, process, business, and more. The program is going to go in, in English. So we need you to, to speak uh, English, of course. And super important is that you are aligned with the Toyota's values that you can find over there. OK. And again, if you have any questions, we, we can jump into the questions on the, on the Q&A. There are a couple of documents that are very important if you are considering to apply that are the Guide for Applicants. This is a screenshot, but you can find the Guide for Applicants in this URL. And if you go through all the different stages, uh, basically what we are trying to do here is to explain how to apply if you are considering to apply. If you are an applicant, this is your document of, of reference. But we also have something even easier to read that is the frequently asked questions, okay? With different questions that uh, might be the case that you are thinking about those questions, most of them are already answered. And if we found that any question is asked a lot of times to us, we are always updating this. Regarding the benefits, so what kind of bootcamp can you expect if you are selected? What I was uh, starting uh, or commenting before, we are trying to focus uh, in the different days of, of the week uh, for different matters, for different fields. So for example, it could be that Tuesday is for marketing, could be like Wednesday is for talent and culture, Thursday is for internationalization and businesses, and Friday for partnerships and, and, and courts, for example. Of course, we are going to have Toyota Talks over there, and of course, you are going to have interaction with, with the other startups, and we really support this because at the end of the day, there are a lot of uh, learnings coming from, from the other startups in the past, as you can imagine. One second. Okay. Regarding the, the mentors and, and the people that are going to support you through the program, we are going to have three different types of mentors and guides. We have one that is the uh, follow up mentor. Basically, this is one on one match. So, based, based on your needs as an startup, as an innovator, we are looking for the best one out there. And this mentor. Uh, main objective is to support your growth. So basically, they are going to agree with you in a couple of KPIs and in a couple of deliverables, and they're going to support you to reach those goals and objectives, but also they are going to support you reaching uh, this roadmap, uh, POC or pilot roadmap that we have talked before. 
we have a, also a, a pool of, of the specialized mentors that you can um, request the support of them on demand. So for example, if you need some kind of support into performance marketing, for example, you can always email us uh, and, and chat with us and we will look for the best mentor possible for you on that specific matter, okay? And of course, as commented before, we have Toyota Guides. And Toyota Guides are your key uh, reference person to support you to navigate Toyota. As you can imagine, it's a huge organization. They have different departments, division, and, and people. And uh, this is the way that you are going to be in contact with Toyota, also to explore potential collaboration, and also to explore your roadmap and POC from the very beginning. Okay, so at least you are going to have two people dedicated to you, your follow-up mentor and your Toyota guide, and also specialized mentors on demand based on your needs. And who are these mentors? We have people from all around the world, from big corporations, from, from the pure players and technology firms out there, from the automotive industry and from the investment ecosystem, of course. So this is a sneak peek of, of the mentors that we are constantly hiring. And also uh, hopefully some of our previous startups, founders and, and key employees are, are becoming mentors too, right? So this is something that, that we also always support and foster. And of course, thanks to these more than eight years supporting startups, going ahead, uh, going abroad and supporting them with their internationalization, et cetera. We have met a lot of investors out there uh, from the smallest business angels to the biggest uh, investors in London or the Silicon Valley. We have a very good network of investors. And of course, Toyota, through all the platforms that Toyota has, like Toyota Connected, Toyota AI Ventures, or, or Toyota Mobility Foundation, or, or many others uh, are gonna be there, right? So of course, if you're looking for money, this is something that we are uh, considering and we will support you in that. And this is everything from my side, explaining the main benefits. Um, right now, I would love to have the, the vision and, and, and the and the feedback insights of, of Kevin and of Amir. Uh, as you have seen on the video before, we were working in the previous acceleration program with five startups. Prosfeed uh, that you have here in the first, uh, in the first um, point, in the first part of the slide, then Willis that is gonna explain themselves and seamless vision, but also sociability in UK and able human motion in, in Barcelona. So, Amir, Kevin, this is your time. Uh, super happy to, to explain who you are, what is your role at the company, what is your company about, and also your main reflections and, and uh, how we supported you on your own words on, on the first edition. All right, I'll start. Um, so thank you very much for having me. I'm very happy uh, to be here. Um, my name is Amir Nardimon. I'm the founder and CEO of uh, Seamless Vision. We started initially by building the a robotic guide for the blind, helping visually impaired and blind people navigate autonomously in uh, urban areas, both indoor and outdoor. Um, and now, well, in the last year, we pivoted a little bit, uh, taking the software stack, uh, the autonomous abilities and the a fleet control uh, software that we've built and taking it into different verticals. So we have a pilot starting with uh, Shiba Medical Center, which is one of the top 10 hospitals in the world located in uh, Israel doing autonomous uh, logistics deliveries and exploration with other verticals, including smart cities in logistics and sanitation and inspection and whatnot. And there's a lot of possibilities for the technology by itself, but we're currently focusing on uh, doing the pilot in the uh, uh, Shiba Medical Center, which should be in full deployment in uh, October. And when we uh, joined the uh, Toyota Startup Awards uh, and ISD program, it was uh, right at the beginning of the process when we uh, kind of started about thinking about how we, how and if and when should we uh, do that uh, pivot or don't get me wrong, it still wakes me up every morning to build our robotic guide for the blind and hopefully in the next couple of years we'll be able to get there, but it, it's, a, it's a very difficult point for a company um, to decide to do a pivot. 
Uh, I think, and I'll leave the pivot just for a second aside. I think that the, uh, first of all, the competition was excellent. Besides the fact that we were lucky enough to travel to Barcelona and meet so many uh, interesting companies and uh, inspiring uh, talks and uh, entrepreneurs and the whole team of ISDI, we were lucky to meet face to face and the Toyota guys. Uh, so it was an amazing event. Uh, and then everything locked down. Um, and I think that if you look at the program, I mean, the bootcamp is, is, is a real, uh, um, you know, it aligns everyone on the same uh, concepts in each uh, category, which is nice. And you are able to take at least one or two points from each lecture. But I think the most important part is the work that you're doing with the Toyota guides and the, uh, the mentors, which in our case was an exceptional uh, in both, uh, in both assignments from the Toyota and uh, is the uh, guys. Um, and we were lucky enough to have real uh, professionals with real insights to be able to take a look at the company in that very critical stage when we are doing uh, that pivot and how to do it and what's the best vertical to go through because we did have a good uh, product market fit for the guide for the blind, and I won't get into too many reasons why we did that pivot, but at the end of the day, we had two very professional people helping us, both from feedbacks, which are Toyota related, and how the organization as a big and huge uh, corporation looks at uh, our technology and our roadmap for the next uh, couple of years, as well as getting that uh, unsolicited uh, uh, objective approach from the uh, mentor and also lead us through that process. For me, it was, it, was, it was priceless. And we're still in connections, both with the Toyota guys and as well as the, with the, the mentors doing the follow-ups, even though the program completed almost a year ago. Uh, the ISD as a, an organization is honestly, and I've participated in some accelerators, not as big as this, but in some smaller ones, they have an amazing team, which are always, they, it doesn't matter what you tell them, they always think about how they can help you with that, even if you would, you actually didn't ask for anything, uh, which I think is amazing, uh, besides, you know, the human interaction and connections, uh, which we enjoyed very much. Um, I highly recommend it. I do want to stress that don't think that everything happens in a second, right? Those are big organization, especially when you're talking about Toyota. It's an amazing opportunity to understand how corporations think and how they uh, operate, but don't think that it happens, you know, six months into the program or by demo day, you already have a, a, an acquisition by Toyota or a product or a roadmap with them and everything goes smoothly. It's a process like everything, it's hard work. Uh, so it's not something that you're doing on the side, both in the accelerator program and later when you continue those relationships, but it's definitely worth it. So I highly recommend it. And if you need me, like I'm here, I'm always available. So feel free to reach out in any, any form. That's me. Thank Inside. you, Amir. Thank you, Amir. <laughs> Amazing to hear you. Thank you a lot, especially Bank Holiday. Uh, thank you. Thank you a lot for, for making this possible. Of course. Uh, Kevin. Yeah, uh, I'm actually having some issues with my uh, connection. Can you hear me? Yes, very well, very well. Okay, great, great to hear. Uh, so, hi everyone. Um, I'm so I, I'm Kevin, uh, working for Willys, which is the first peer-to-peer -peer, uh, wheelchair accessible car rental platform. Um, I'm the CMO uh, at Willys, working on a, on all the business development, marketing, and uh, and so what can I say uh, before is uh, Willis has been launched in 2015. Uh, so we had the, ch the luck to, uh, to learn and test on our, on our market based in France um, before to, to have the, the opportunity to, to meet Toyota and ISD uh, through this TSA. Uh, so my uh, our feedback uh, was a bit different uh, from a uh, uh, seamless vision because we had a product market fit we uh, already and we we were 
doing okay on, on, a, on our market. And we were thinking uh, we had different uh, growing uh, uh, ideas. Uh, one of them was to go abroad in Spain and speci specifically. And uh, on this uh, on this topic, we had the we were lucky enough to uh, to meet uh, Christina, uh, which one was a, one of our two mentors, and uh, she helped us a lot. To uh, she introduced us to the Spanish market and uh, you know, to our, our network. Uh, so that was very, very, very important to us because uh, we couldn't have make it happen uh, without her, without anybody already on the market. Um, so that was very. Very important for us and very good. Uh, well, unfortunately, uh, be because of the COVID, we and, and the situation of, of the company, uh, things are, have changed. Our plans, plans have changed, and we we probably will not go uh, to Spain uh, very soon. Uh, well, I don't close the door, but uh, <laughs> I mean, we will we will love to, uh, but we have other priorities now. Uh, and uh, what I liked in the VSTSA, uh, uh, a part of obviously, is a, I, I really liked the bootcamp uh, because it was full of uh, very inspiring and interesting uh, experts on very specific fields that are very, was really relevant for us uh, as a startup. Um, well, it's like everything. I mean, there are some topics you, you might be not interesting in others that you are very much is very uh, much your your difficulties or your questions of the day, and so that was very precious for us. Um, but yeah, what I did, what what I liked most, and one of my advice uh, would be to to ask yourself what you are expecting from Toyota. What can Toyota do for you and do some research on Toyota before because uh, because our mentor Charles uh, at Toyota has, has learned so many things to us about this huge company. I mean, they do so different businesses. They are into banking, insurance, peer-to-peer uh, play, uh, -peer play uh, services obviously cars but also manufacturing those small things i mean they are and on robotics and obviously they are big 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 companies and if you know what exactly well not exactly because they are very big but if you have any idea of how they can help you and help you grow your business help you, help you grow, grow your startup that would be very 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 that would you will gain some time because you would have a precise idea of who could be your mentor and how it could help you. In our case, our French mentor, uh, our our mentor Charles is uh, is working on a twenty uh, Olympics twenty twenty four, and uh, obviously in this case uh, we have many opportunities to uh, tap into the, this market of the wheelchair accessible well, making. Paris with a city accessible, which is not the case actually. So uh, this was one, one obvious opportunity, and uh, and but we uh, we learned more about what they wanted to do about the on the French French market regarding uh, accessible cars, and so we are working on a very interesting pro topics and, uh, and project with them. Um, but uh, and Amir was right, obviously. That did a, that doesn't happen in in six months or a year, uh, but you can still be, build a, a strong relationship with them, and uh, they they really try to be there at important stage of our business uh, of, of our growing uh, you know, short history uh, because one of the because of the COVID again uh, we had. Uh, we had a kind of a big priority uh, about raise, raising funds and uh, or finding a, 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 a company to to be bought by for from. So 
we did it uh, and uh, Toyota tried to help us. We didn't go this way, but uh, they really did try to help us a lot on, on this subject to uh, to find uh, partners and uh, or some money to, to gain time. And so, yeah, that was really, really a good, good, good uh, opportunity. Sometimes, you know, you subscribe uh, to uh, like, a, uh, sorry, what the word, uh, competition, like uh, awards for startup or something like that. And you don't have big expectation, but in this case, you can have big expectation because there is a true follow-up and as uh, Daniel showed you, it's it's not just a one one shot uh, process. It's a process throughout like six or a year, months, and you uh, and you have regular uh, contact with people and uh, who works very well. They manage to to gather a lot of experts, and uh, and when you need some specific models. They can find or they do their do their best to find uh, use best people. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Amir, thanks a lot. This this talk is not paid, so we are not paying them right now. They are doing for the good, but uh, of course you are super open to 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 put reflections on also what don't went as 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 good as you thought. So. Uh, if you want to say anything, of course, uh, we are always learning. And, and as you know, Toyota is Kaizen. One of the values that Toyota has is constant learning and, and flexibility, etc. And we are we are learning thanks to Toyota a lot of things, but also at ISD we are doing like this. So uh, anything that you would like to share, um, we are humans. We are always trying to to do it better, and we are changing a few things on the programs. But super happy to to have your support, uh, also to 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 give to this audience, uh, something that you believe that it could be improved somehow. So anything that you want to share on, on that regard too? Super happy. To improve? Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's always room for improvement in everything. <laughs> uh, I think one of the points that Kevin said, which is very important for startups, and not only for the program, but it's that you need, you, every company is very unique and it comes in a very unique point of time when it joins it, everything, you know, there's no way, I mean, there are general same issues or same problems and challenges, but at the end of the day, you need to be very prepared to what you want to get out of the program and what you think is the as an organization and Toyota and as an organization can help you because as much as knowledge you have, uh, you don't know what the situation in the specific startups are, startups are. So the startups need to be very transparent about what uh, they need and where they are standing at and what do they expect. So you can guide or actually deliver it, mm -hmm. uh, both from Toyota and from ISB. And uh, I think it's a, a very important point because you, you need to have some time to think about it. I think the only part, but again, it's just because the our company was in that stage. I think that for us missing some opportunities to get more connections with uh, potential investors uh, from the beginning to through that process and the uh, demo day, because demo day is a very, I don't know, it's a very condensed, uh, you know, event with a lot of people and a lot of uh, startups and uh, it comes from everywhere and it's not unique for your vertical or your product or your company. And I think in that sense, since you have so many connections that can be followed up as something unique for the companies uh, when you bring the actual investors which have interest for that specific because although we are all in the and mobility for all, we are still so different between us. And the uh, investors don't uh, operate like that. I mean, there is not a lot of uh, investors which invest in everything from everything, because uh, that requires them to have so many expertise, which most VCs don't have. Um, and I think in that sense, it needs to be more uh, custom to the companies or company as a separate event. Uh, but other than that, I don't Thanks. know. I mean, you can always wish that your the, the program is always 
you know, micro fit for your company, but at the end of the day, you can't do that, right? Mm. So you have to take the lessons from the different uh, 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 sessions that you have. I think you nailed it with the Toyota uh, guide and the mentor. So from that point, we couldn't be happier. So mm. that was amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Amir. Kevin, do you want to ask her something else? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I like, uh, well, I, I agree with Amir. I like the, fir the first part, the first uh, part of, of the process uh, we've, uh, when we met, obviously, that was a, a great moment. And uh, the, the boot camp, and then uh, the, the fact we, we've got some great mentors. And once again, if you take the time to think really deeply of how to, what, what you are expect, what are, are your expectation toward BZ, toward Toyota, and uh, and you are able to put it uh, on a, to put words on it and to be really clear about that, you have done fifty percent of the job because BZ and Toyota then will be able to be to 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 make the best uh, follow up as possible and uh, and Amir said something else that be transparent about what your company needs uh, that's very important uh, if you need cash say it and don't turn around the, the fact that this is what you are looking for and uh, and if you need a, a follow-up on a specific technology or uh, or if you are willing to work on a specific topic with Toyota and uh, or if you are uh, looking uh, to raise from the uh, in Europe whatever is your objective try to be as transparent as possible and and yes the, the demo day is uh, was kind of a weird format I understand the difficulty to to make it happen and to make everybody in the same room uh, Obviously, uh, thankfully, we didn't have big expectation uh, about uh, fi finding the, the, the big uh, investment company. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think if if it's one if it was one of our of our big weights, big uh, objective, uh, we would have been a bit frustrated. But it was not what we, we were so happy about the story we were writing with a Toyota uh, that that was a good good uh, good thing and thank you thank one you of the weird, one of the weird thing was uh, this uh, uh, seems uh, you know I, 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 oh, I, I don't know if you're gonna use it again but you know the uh, the, the, the kind of so small word with uh, You've got your your own person, and you go in a room and in another room, and uh, you try to make some meeting. Uh, that was a bit weird, but I understand the, why you do it because we can't really meet. Mm, yeah, this net networking online networking platform, right? That uh, we yeah. try to do our best to do some networking despite the fact that we were. Well, that was fun, but uh, facing the COVID, yes, a bit a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Okay, thank, thanks a lot. Uh, super important your feedback. And indeed, tomorrow we have an, an, an event for that. But uh, this is also for the audience. So this is how we are. So we are always looking to, to change, to learn. And this is how we started as an accelerator. So step by step, managing different batches, different acceleration programs, we learn uh, how to better support the startups. And, and we are always trying to fine tune in our, our processes. So thanks. Thanks for sharing, guys. Perfect. So yeah, just to finish uh, the presentation, basically we are moving into the Q&A. So this is the time of the audience uh, for yourself. Uh, any question that you may have regarding the open call, the process, um, the, the startups, uh, ourselves, etc. So very happy to try to, to answer those. You can do this by the chat so we can try to to go through through them one by one, step by step, or you can raise your hand or even directly unmute yourself. So as, as you please. Danny, uh, we already have one question from Daniel. And 
he's saying that he sees many startups related to mobility for all. I think what you mean is like, especially Amir and, and Kevin, is because in the first edition, we, we you know, the, the vertical was specifically and only mobility for all. And then he's saying that they are focused on EVs, charging, optimization, grid services. And if can solutions related to EVs be a good fit to the carbon neutral vertical? Totally. The, the, the answer is easy. Yes, yes. Very good fit. Yes. Hmm. Anybody else can just like unmute or just um, <laughs> write it down like Daniel. And, and Thanks, Daniel, for the question. Hello, everyone. So my name is Daniel Ritter. So another Daniel in the call. <laughs> uh, so uh, my, my question was about uh, because as the, the two panelists said Toyota is very big obviously uh, it, it is clear so which part of Toyota are we talking about here is it Toyota corporate is it Toyota Europe uh, th that would be interesting to know okay good thank you Daniel for the question uh, okay. it, we are basically working with Toyota Motor Europe which is the holding company in, in Europe but um Toyota Motor Europe is very well related with all the other companies of Toyota, with the corporate in, in Japan, with the, the States, for example, with the um, Toyota AI Ventures or Toyota Ventures in Silicon Valley, the investment arm, with the Toyota Mobility Foundation, with Toyota, I don't, I, I, probably I'm pronouncing it wrongly, but Toyota Tsutsu, and many other uh, company internally at Toyota. So basically we are working with Toyota Motor Europe, but we have the chance to go through the corporate in Japan from some robotics, for example, areas. We have the chance to, to go out and we are gonna have again Toyota AI Ventures, the venture arm from Silicon Valley. And Toyota Mobility Foundation is indeed collaborating with one of the startups. So at the end of the day, uh, I believe it's part of the work that um, Amir and, and Kevin were commenting to you that if you are also honest and transparent with Toyota and with ourselves, somehow you will find your way to connect with different uh, Toyota companies and Toyota key employees, uh, thanks to this program. We can never promise, uh, but um, so far we, we have uh, had a very good uh, success cases in, in that regard. Thank you, Daniel, all clear, thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Then we have another question from Kirill. Um, he's saying that in our site and presentation, it looks like the mobility for all is more focused for, with, for people with disabilities. If, if that is the focus and he's um, uh, affirming, and we definitely agree, is that a generally aimed mobility solution can actually cater to both people with and without disabilities. And if that would fit into our program and Definitely yes. Like um, then you can explain further, but of course, it's not um, you know disability focused um, field. It's literally for all, and um, it's just the the, um, the chance that uh, happen to be that you know some of the startups that won you know have have solutions also. But um, it's definitely open for both, and definitely a good fit for for the mobility for all. Totally, totally. Indeed, one of the uh, fields or verticals and, and some of the teams that are going to work with the startups and with us uh, directly at Toyota, it's the mobility team of Toyota. And, and we have uh, very close to the Quinto team, that is um, the brand that Toyota created to manage all, all the software as a service and different mobility services they have created. And we were not only collaborating with Toyota in this regard, regarding open innovation and, and startup acceleration programs, but we are also, uh, this is part of a broader program that we call Uthu, that is Vortex in Japanese, where we have trained more than four, 400 um, executives and employees at Toyota, and a good quantity of them are coming from this department. So yeah, of course, any kind of mobility solution services are super interesting for, for, for Toyota. Then Hope is asking that if with regards to eligibility, if startups based and operating in Africa can apply. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the first answer will, will be no, uh, because it's out of the scope of, of the eligibility that we have stated in, in, 
in the documents and in the website. But uh, when whenever you have some kind of operations or um, another office uh, or people working in Europe or in the countries that are accepted, uh, we are we are okay to review your application, basically. Okay, so there are some startups that are uh, working from Europe somehow, but with a lot of connections in Africa. So, for example, this is the case of CrossFit, uh, and and they have done they have done it. They have been selected. So maybe hopefully this is your case, and you have some kind of uh, direct relationship with Europe or, or the countries that are, are part of the open call. And this is the case uh, you can apply. And the, the worst thing that that it can happen if you apply is that you might not be eligible, but uh, of course we are going to review your application and we will inform you in accordance. So we suggest you to to apply nevertheless. Um, hi guys, Rita from Home Health here. Daniel, Alex, <laughs> nice to finally Hello, meet you. <laughs> and my question is the following: uh, Does Toyota invest in in startup? Toyota itself. Yes, Toyota has an investment firm in in Silicon Valley. Toyota AI Ventures was the name. I believe right, right now they have uh, branded uh, differently. I believe there is right now Toyota Ventures. This is based on, on Silicon Valley. But they also invest with other holding companies, uh, for example, directly from the corporate. Have some other um, invest investors close to their ecosystem. Some very big retailers in different uh, countries also invest in startups. So this is a possibility. Uh, this is not the focus of the program. The focus of the program is equity-free money, and and also the support you Just are going to have, <laughs> training, etc. Even even better, right? So to, the other support through yeah, perks, training, mentoring, et cetera. But there is a possibility of Toyota somehow investing into the companies, yes. Thank you. Professor, thanks for being here. Yeah. Um, and um, we have a question for Amir um, from Piapos R. Sandals. And it's, hi Amir, if you would do anything differently concerning your startup, if you looked back. Mm. Only one thing? <laughs> yes, it's a tough question. <laughs> it's like uh, a, a lot of things yeah. different, but that's uh, you know the, the, the perks of looking back. And by the way, you should always look back and think what you've done different. Uh, but if the question is more specific to why we pivoted or should have we started with uh, whatever we're doing now to whatever we started with, then the obvious answer would be no. Um, I think uh, I think that our I mean our robotic guide for the blind is, is amazing and we will do it once we are able to do it. Uh, pivoting or deciding that between the end goal and uh, where we at now, there should be a middle point, uh, which is what we realized in order to get more. Uh, revenue coming in and attraction for investors and whatnot and our technology in operational uh, scenarios right now, uh, then I, I, I think that's the, the, the right way to do it. Of course, if I would know everything that I know now when I started, I would uh, probably aim myself first for the middle point and not start with the end point, but having the end goal in our, you know, in our vision as where we want to get to. Uh, and if you are asking about other issues, then the list goes on and on. I would always do things differently. And I think that's one of the, the perks of doing startups and being a founder is that you make so many mistakes all the time, as long as you're very honest with yourself and the team and the conversations, the people you, that you work with, and you ask yourself, what would you do different and, uh, and, and, and do better uh, in the next challenge and the next question and the next decision that you want to make? Thanks, Samir. Thanks for the question also. Yes, thank you very much. I have one more question, um, which uh, might be because I haven't read the website properly, but um, the first edition uh, took place in the new normal, right? Um, so the second edition, is it supposed to take place in person or is it going to be uh, in a remote setting again? Yep, remote setting. 
Um, at least we have all the operations prepared for remote setting. Hopefully we are going to do something. Uh, that's our, uh, our hope, uh, something face-to-face. But we cannot guarantee this, uh, so the operations are set for for remote. And let's see, let's see. It will be great to have something face to face. But let, let's see how how this is possible or not in the short future. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if there is any other question. Yeah, it's already seven, and it's great that we've been punctual. So if nobody else has anything else to ask i think we can wrap it up here and um i thank you so much everybody for coming um you know especially amit and kevin because i know you guys are extremely busy and making time for us is is really great and and danny too thank you so much for moderating um if you have any other questions you know you can contact us through the website or um sending me an email because i've been emailing you guys We've recorded the session, so um, if it if it works for you, I mean, I will also send it. So uh, you know, maybe you don't remember some things that we've we've talked about. So we'll just send it send it to you guys. And if there's anything else, Danny, you can finish it up. Yeah, no, thank you very much, Alex, for your all your efforts organizing this. And from my side, is uh, please don't don't forget that the, the deadline is next week, uh, September the 14th. Um, it's the moment to, to apply right now. Uh, some of the startups are in draft mode in the application form, but uh, mm -hmm. probably is right now the, the time to review your application and then click the submit button to apply. And yeah, um, we are aiming to have more programs with Toyota and more programs uh, uh, in the Easy Accelerator team. So if this is not the time, super happy to be in contact with you and, and hopefully you will do on next one. And, and we have some cases of startups following us and they made it on the second or on the third. Uh, so yeah, thanks a lot for your time, for attending. And as Alex said, uh, if you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks, Amir. Thanks, Kevin. And thanks all the friends that I'm seeing here, Rita, Daniel, Linus, and, and many others. Thanks a lot for attending. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very Bye. much. Bye. 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 Bye.